Hi everyone, this is Susie Q, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have little Rosie with me. Um, for those of you who have not met Rosie um, before, I've only had her in my nursery for um, about four months now. Um, she's the shyest sculpt by Bonnie Sieben, and she was reborn by Emma Bennett. And so I wanted to bring her on um, because I wanted to put her into a cute little Halloween outfit since we are very close to Halloween. Um, today is Tuesday and I know that Halloween is on Thursday. So I'm going to put her down for just a moment here. And I will show you the outfit that I would like to change her into. And so this is her outfit. Um, it's got cute little ghost on the front, uh, boo, <laughs> and it's a size zero to three months. And so um, she's really, I, I think I only have one other um, baby doll in my collection that is a zero to three months, but I wanted to bring her on um, because she fits into this outfit. Plus um, I haven't had her on for a while, but anyway, it's a really cute little outfit uh, for Halloween. It's got um, a little tutu skirt um, along the edge that has little sparkly <clears throat> dots along the bottom. And then this is a separate little pants outfit. Or not outfit, but a separate pair of pants to go with it. And so um, I'm going to uh, be putting that on her. As well as, um, <clears throat> excuse me, she's going to be wearing this little um uh, sleeveless onesie underneath she is full arms and full legs and then um, i'm going to change her into this diaper because it's orange giraffes and since it's um the outfit has orange in it i thought this would be really cute i don't have any halloween um style of diapers and then i don't have any um little shoes that would fit her uh, surprisingly enough and so I'm going to put these little socks on her because I thought they'd go really cute with the outfit. You know, they, they're black with little white dots. And then for her hair, um, her one little curl that she has on top of her head, I'm going to put this little bow. So I wanted to show you her certificate of authenticity and she's number um, 95 out of 1200. And so that's my little Shia sculpt. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with her. I'm going to take her bow off because I'm going to be removing her um, her uh, little shirt. This is a little summer outfit, and I always like to take the bows off before I um, take her outfits off so, so that it doesn't pull their hair. And let me adjust, readjust the camera here. And so I'm sorry I haven't been on for a few days. Um, it's been, I've been very, very busy. Um, my son, uh, who is who lives in Colorado Springs, uh, he flew in on Thursday um, of this of last week, and so uh, we've had our whole family out here. Uh, my daughter is temporarily living with us, and so she's al she's already here. And then so my son came in, and um, he spent the weekend with us, and he left. Uh, yesterday, which was Monday. So we've been very busy. Um, uh, mainly during the day, my um, my husband and him, you know, they, they kind of hung out on the farm and um, they did hunting and, you know, things like that together. Well, I, um, I had to stop the camera for just a moment. Um, I thought my husband was coming in and so... Uh, I stopped it just to see if he, you know, what he needed. But anyway, so um, <clears throat> I was going to tell you, how we've been super busy. And um, so, yeah, during the daytime, um, my husband and son kind of uh, hung out together and did stuff. And, and meanwhile, um, uh, I was busy trying to figure out dinners, um, you know, to fix for my son and um, whenever we get together as a family, I have traditional dinners that I make. Um, one of them is I, I made him my special uh, homemade spaghetti sauce, and uh, which he really, really enjoyed. <laughs> and um, 
I have I have a couple of traditions that I do um, for meals that came from um, the fact of you know when I was raising the kids and um, I was making meals for them and I had to turn uh, things into positive things when it came to meal time sometimes. One of the things that happened um, when I used to make homemade spaghetti sauce was um, the fact of you know I always put a bay leaf in there in the um, in the sauce as it's simmering you know because a bay leaf uh, you know makes makes it you know much more flavorful and so anyway it's a real leaf and um, it used to be when the kids were small um, they, they started complaining about or even my husband would complain about you know getting the bay leaf in their in their dish after they served their spaghetti and so um, I what I ended up doing to make it into a positive thing was I told them that um, you know whoever got the the secret bay leaf would get a penny and so <clears throat> instead of them complaining about oh there's a leaf in my spaghetti uh, my, my spaghetti sauce they would um, they would look for the leaf, you know, to see if they could find the leaf so they could get the penny. So um, that's been a tradition uh, for a long time in my family with, with the, the bay leaf. And then, let's see, what else have I done? Oh, I know what else I've done. Um, used to be that whenever I cooked, usually whenever I make meals, I always cook too much because I, I want to make sure that uh, we everybody has enough so I'd rather have too much than not enough well of course you know I have leftovers and then what I'll do with the leftovers is I'll freeze them and then I, I'll put them to get together in one meal uh, you know several different dishes in one meal uh, or I'll combine different different foods into a casserole <laughs> and uh, so I think that probably the first time I did that, uh, I got some complaints about what's this, you know, what do you, what's in this dish, what's this called, or whatever, you know. And so I, at the spur of the moment, I thought of this thing. I, I said, um, it's called shut up and eat it. <laughs> and uh, so every time, you know, that's the name of the casseroles that or the meals that I put together whenever there's leftovers and there's different stuff, you know, that may not necessarily go together. I call it shut up and eat it. And so that's another kind of a, a silly tradition that we have. Um, but anyway, it's kind of fun, you know, when you're raising your kids and you're trying to think of positive ways of getting them to eat and not to complain. And so I, I would think of things like that. But um, anyway, one of the meals that I ended up fixing for my um, son, it's called pop-up pizza casserole. And it's a, um, it's a casserole that has, it's, it supposedly it's fashioned after pizza. And um, it's made with, if, you know, if you don't have ground venison, you use ground um, hamburger, but you put um, hamburger and uh, peppers and onions, you know, you fry all that up together. And then um, you put a, uh, I, I use, I could have used my homemade spaghetti sauce, but I had some jarred sauce on hand. So I went ahead and used um, the jarred spaghetti sauce, which is, you know, it's good too. But um, anyways, I, I put that all together and then there's a, the pop-up part comes in. Um, you make a, like a, it's a flour and milk and some other things in the, in a pop-up batter and you beat it you know it's got eggs in it and you put it all together um, it's also got mozzarella cheese and it's got um, pepperoni slices on it so you put it all together and um, you bake it and then the the pop-up batter kind of puffs up on the top and it look you know it's really really good and so anyway we had uh, pop-up pizza casserole for another one of our dinner meals. And that's been a tradition in our family for a long time. And I don't even remember where I got that recipe from. But I used to 
collect recipes and have fun doing recipes um, when the kids were younger and uh, we're, we were all at home. But yeah, that was a fun one. So yeah, this is looking really cute on her. Boy, the neck is really wide. Yes, it is. Now this is a size zero to three months and it is really, really tight on her. It's almost like it could have, like this out could fit, could have fit a newborn. Um, except for the, the uh, neckline is really, really, really big. So, but yeah, anyway, um, yesterday was a really busy day. We, um, we took my, we drove my son back to the airport. He came in from Pittsburgh. And we live in West Virginia, and so it's about a three-hour drive one way. So we um, we drove for about an hour until we got to the nearest uh, town, and there's a uh, the Chinese buffet is is there, and so we stopped and we had a really nice lunch, and um, got lots of good food. They have delicious food there. And um, then after that, we took him to the airport, and um, his flight left last night at, or I guess it's not night, but it was, see, what time was it? 4.30, I guess, in the late afternoon. And so uh, I guess it was about a three, three to four hour flight. And um, according to the flight, the, you know, flight tracker that I saw, he did get home okay, so... The only thing is, um, in Colorado Springs and in, in Denver, I guess right now, and in Colorado, they're having some weather come in, uh, some really big weather, um, snowstorm. And I guess it's the biggest they've had for years and years and years. And so luckily, he got in before all of that big stuff started. Um, it was snowing when he came in, but n not as much as it's going to be today. So anyway, I don't know how that happened, but <clears throat> I think he just got very fortunate that he's, he didn't have to deal with, um, you know, the winter snow, trying to drive through it. I guess he's about an hour and a half away or an hour and 45 minutes away from uh, Denver Airport. So um, hopefully, you know, they keep the roads cleared and hit that he got home okay. I'm sure he did because um, even though I asked I asked him to um, you know send me a text or something when he got home, I'm sure you know how they say no news is good news. So his wife would have contacted us if you know if he had to stay in a hotel or something. But anyway, um, it was it's been really fun, but it's been we've been super super busy, and so I wasn't able to do any videos until today. But um, see her little curl on top? She's got really super, super soft. Um, I think this is he I think this is human hair, actually. it's it doesn't look or feel like mohair. And Emma Bennett does a lot of her dolls with human hair, so uh, it just reminds me of human hair. But anyway, let's go ahead and put this little black bow. And so what do you think? Yeah, I was re well, I was disappointed that I couldn't find any shoes for her, but I think um, I think that these socks go really well, and so it's okay, you know. But uh, I think this she looks really cute in this. And then there's her little her little black bow. And I love this sculpt because of the little uh, the dimples and the happy little smile and stuff. And. Uh, there's a lot of my dolly friends that have the same sculpt. So there's her hair. But anyway, um, that's all I was going to share with you today. I hope everyone had a really good week last week and a, and a nice weekend. Um, I know that there's going to be a lot of fun with um, people going to Halloween parties and such. And so I uh, hope you have fun doing that. And I will see you again on Theme Thursday for Halloween. Yeah, so thanks for, so much for stopping by, and um, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.